Good morning and welcome back to episode 25 of Dare Boldly, No Matter Your Age with me, your host, Louise Gallagher. It has been an extremely smoky week here in Calgary. There are forest fires burning in BC and the States and that smoke has, has floated up here and is filling the air with tiny little particles that, especially for those with lung diseases, are hazardous to breathe. Now, I don't have a lung disease, so I still go outside. Beaumont insists on it, he needs his walks. And so I still get to enjoy nature and walk along the river and in the woods. And it's quite lovely. For my husband, it is not as pleasant. He has a lung disease, and so he has been confined to the house for the entire week. And there is something very disconcerting about hearing him breathe when the weather is like this when the, the smoke is in the air. He struggles for each breath. Uh, his cough is horrific. And while the doctor says there's nothing he can really do at this point, many, many people are experiencing this, it doesn't make it any more pleasant. For me, the challenge is I slip easily into fear and anxiety and angst and worry and the helplessness that comes with not being able to do anything. I mean, I can make him a cup of tea, but I can't change his lungs. I can't give him a new lung, as he jokingly asked me the other day. And when I slip into fear, I also slip into impatience and a lack of compassion, and um, I just get edgy and out of sorts. And that doesn't help either. This week, writing and talking about gratitude has been a gift because it has reminded me that I have the power to choose differently. I have the power to choose to not be driven by fear, but drawn by courage to become and allow myself to move through gratitude and love and joy. And a sense that, yes, this is not, not good, there's still so much we can do together. There's so many gifts we can share. I get to choose to not let the fear drive me away from love, which it can do. When I'm not being conscious and present in the moment, mm, fear can have its way with me, and that's not pretty. So thank you for inspiring me and encouraging me to continue this conversation because writing this grat about gratitude this week has been a, an amazing gift and it has been a fabulous reminder of my power to choose. I choose gratitude. I hope you do too. And thank you again for all your comments and your support because you've made a difference in my life. And I look forward to seeing you all next week when our theme is aging and resilience. Have a great weekend.